Hey, I'm Alex Roth, and I'm here with Dan Stapleton. Hello. IGN's unofficial VR trooper. Something like that. And we're about to unbox the new Oculus Rift. For a comparison, here's the old one. This is this is the the Dev Kit 2 or DK2 as yeah, they call it. Yeah, DK2. Are they still using the Crystal Cove uh, no, moniker at all? No, that was that was kind of an interim thing. It's uh, it's kind of in between uh, DK1 and DK2 is the Crystal Cove Crystal Cove prototype. Gotcha. DK2 is its own thing. Uh, so the, the big difference between this and that is going to be that this thing has a, a higher resolution display. Uh, this one is basically 7, well, it's 1280 by 800. Uh, so if you cut that in half and it's, one, you know, kind of your, your uh, each eye is, has its own view. This one is going up to a full 1080p display. Um, so it's, it's a significantly higher resolution. Uh, it, it still looks a little bit screen dory, but not really. Yeah. I mean, you, you can ignore it pretty quickly. Whereas this one, like, it's always there and, like, text is hard to read. This one you can read all the stuff, and all the, all the text in, in a kind of a normal game uh, UI. Yeah, uh, and now if you haven't figured it out, he's wearing the original developer kit yep. up there. I look so cool. <laughs> like a welder Ooh. from the future. <laughs> but, uh, so, these, uh, these dealies here are the lenses. There are a couple of interchangeable sets, usually, I think. Do we have those in here? Let's oh, see. I think we've got some more in there. Right, uh, and you can you can switch those out depending on your preference and, and how your eyes are shaped, basically. Hmm. Um, well, this this is actually the uh, power adapter here, the power brick. Yeah, they seem to have included generously all the necessary cables and a little Lines. nice white cloth to keep those lenses nice and clean. Yeah. Let's see. And, the quick start uh, guide. Various power adapters depending on where in the world you live. And a HDMI to DVI adapter. Now here we are with the actual headset. Plenty of nice foam packing to keep it safe. And yeah, so it, it does have a couple of these lenses already inside. Yeah. So you can swap those out with these with these bigger ones if you uh, if you know your eyes huh. are you know if, I, I think it's uh, nearsighted and farsighted kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, my eyes are actually pretty good, so I haven't had to mess with that. So you don't have to actually size your eyes. You just gotta figure out what your prescription's like. Well, there there, there are uh, settings for adjusting like how far apart they are. Oh, gotcha. Um, I, you don't really need to do that, but it, but you know if you if you own one, you should do that because yes. it will you know it will be more comfortable. Um, but you know at E3, you know we were going up and, and trying it out, and it, and you didn't have to do that. This is actually the other big uh, change between DK1 and DK2. This is the uh, positional tracking camera. Oh yeah. So you put that uh, like on basically on your computer, uh, but like you would with a w uh, with a webcam. Actually, it can go anywhere because you don't have to be facing your computer when you're <laughs> like this. Who, who cares what's in front of you? Um, so this uh, will track where your head is. Uh, this one knows when you're looking side to side, up and down, or you know any any combination yeah. thereof. But it doesn't know when you do this, and it doesn't know when you do this. Uh, one of the demos and they in showed and out, leaning toward right. The back. Yeah. Uh, so, like one of the demos they showed at E3 uh, was a game called Super Hot, where uh, you're kind of dodging bullets, kind of kind of uh, Matrix style, and uh, and like at one point I was able to actually duck under a bullet by leaning back, <laughs> which is it's crazy. It knew where I, where my head was and knew that that you know I was out of the way of the bullet. First person Max Payne. Yeah, and like. When uh, I, there's another game in there called uh, called Lucky's uh, Adventure or something like that, it's it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, a Mario-esque 3D platformer, um, and it looks like it's happening on a on a desk in front of you. Like kind of a, the world is laid out in front of you, like it's on the desk, and you can kind of move in like that and just take a closer look. So it's it's pretty crazy what they can do with this. So Lucky's Adventure is that named after Palmer? Lucky? It's actually not. I huh. asked I asked about huh. that, but uh, that's that's the creator of yeah. the Oculus Rift, and now. I guess maybe he's a Facebook employee. Yep, they all are now. Yeah, and I don't see the blue Facebook logo anywhere. That's right. There is on no this thing. This is Facebook but, logo free. Yeah, but uh, who knows what the final product will look like? No share button. No tweet. <laughs> There's there is a power button here. This one has this this box mm. here. Uh, I don't think this one has that, does it? it? If it does, they forgot to include it in my. <laughs> yeah. So this this one does not have the box. This goes directly into your PC. Uh, it's got HDMI and USB here. Uh, this one has it's kind of a breakout box where uh, you have to have this this ungainly thing, which I, I always kind of like move my head too fast and like drag this off the yeah. desk, and I hear a thump while I'm playing. So. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so it's it's nice that they've streamlined it a little bit. Uh, this one, let me, let me feel this. I think this one. It's way lighter, right? Uh, they're no, they're not. It's not dramatic. Um, like this one, I, th I think is like 0.97 pounds. Gotcha. Um, I'm actually not sure what the, what the weight on this is, but if you feel it, I mean, it's not. Yeah, yeah, there's not, not much difference. Yeah, it's. I think the the weight distribution is a little bit different. Um, this one, I think, is a little bit more front heavy, um, but it's it's not a significant uh, significantly lighter version of it. Uh, I think uh, it it's pretty comfortable to wear, at least for me, for a while. Um, Oh, this one is supposed to be much better for motion sickness. Yeah, I've heard um, that. And that's, that's because of the head tracking in a lot of ways and also the lower latency display. Um, you know, like any, any amount of delay when you're looking back and forth is going to throw some people off if you're sensitive to motion sickness. This one cuts that way back. Oh yeah, and if I may add one thing, uh, you probably don't want to buy this yet. This is still developer hardware. Um, it will be even fancier when the, when the consumer version come, comes out. They haven't said when that will be, but uh, it's probably worth waiting for. These are $350, uh, which is a little bit pricey if you're not actually going to be developing a game for it. But it is, it is fun to mess around with, so if you've got 350 bucks to, to blow, you can do worse. Yeah. Watch us play with it. Let Oculus work the kinks out. And for all the latest on VR, Oculus Rift, and Project Morpheus, keep it here at IGN.